Okay. So as usual, I recommend having two blocks or something to use as blocks, a strap or something to use as straps. So if you don't have actual blocks, you can use stacks of books, Tupperware, boxes, whatever you have. Hey, Philip. Um, so again, two blocks, something to use as blocks if you don't have actual blocks. Um, you can use boxes, stacks of books. You can use whatever you really have on hand. Um, Tupperware. For a strap, you can use an actual yoga strap. You can also use a towel, a piece of rope, a belt. Uh, if you're going to use a belt, I recommend a cloth belt. All right, um, I did have a request for hip, op hip flexor opening and shoulder opening, so uh, we'll work some of that in. If you have any other requests on areas of focus, feel free to post on the video and I will see what I can work in. Get some music going here. I'm just going to wait a few moments for let people walk, come into class. Any other requests as far as what to focus on during class? Hey there, Chad. Um, for those just wandering in, I always recommend having two blocks or something to use as blocks, a strap or something to use as straps, um, potentially a hand towel, especially that so you can fold up to put underneath your back knee and for kneeling lunges, and something to drink. Just going to give people a couple more moments to wander into class. And can you guys hear me okay? Can you guys hear me okay? Just to check, Ch Philip or Chad, can you hear me? Awesome, thank you. Cool, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let's come to child's pose. Come to the back of your mat. Spread your knees out wide. Bring your shins and the top of your feet down to the ground. Bring your big toes to touch. Walk your hands forward, bring your forehead down to the mat or something physical, be it a block. You could be a block. Stretch your arms forward in front of you, hands about shoulder width distance. Let your heels, hips rather, sink down towards your heels. And just start to breathe here, start to settle into your space. Breathing into the nose. And out through the mouth. Inhale, fill up, let your belly expand towards the ground. And exhale, let your belly come back up towards your spine. Feel free to leave this passive and just relax here. There are a couple ways you can also make it active. You can press your hands into the earth to send your hips further towards your heels. If your heels are already making solid contact with the ground, um, you can bend your elbows, bring the palms of your hands together, and bring your, sh your thumbs between your shoulder blades to your upper back for a tricep, tricep stretch. You could even grab your blocks and do a similar stretch with your elbows resting on the blocks, thumbs between your shoulder blades. You can actually send your chest even deeper there and get a lot stronger stretch for your triceps. Just a couple more breaths.
one more deep breath in and out Bring your hands back down to the ground if you're taking the tricep stretch. Set your blocks aside if you use the block. Inhale, rise up to tabletop. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees. Spread your fingers wide. Bring the tops of your feet down. Inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly down. Turn your gaze up high. Arch your tail up. And exhale, cat pose. Arch your back up high. Tuck your tailbone underneath you. Bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, cow. Belly down. Gaze up. And exhale, cat. Back up gaze down or gaze towards your belly three more rounds make sure to draw your shoulder blades together and down your back during cow and let your shoulder blades separate during cat two more one more and out come back to center All right, shift your weight to your left hand, inhale your right hand up to the sky, and exhale, thread the needle. Bring your right arm underneath your left, right shoulder down, right ear down, let your left elbow bend as much as you need. You, you can just really leave this passive and just relax here. You can also make this active by stacking your left elbow above your left wrist and pressing your hand to the earth to increase the twist of your spine. For a little bit more still, you can bring your left arm behind your back and reach for your right inner thigh with your left fingertips. You can gently pull with your arm in this half bind to also increase the twist of your spine. Two more breaths. Release your grip. If you took the half bind, bring your left hand back down to the ground. Inhale your right hand back up to the sky. And then exhale it down. Shift your weight to your right palm. Inhale your left hand up high. And then exhale. Thread the needle. Bring your left arm underneath your right. Same thing. You can either leave this passive and just relax here. You can press your right hand into the earth with your elbow stacked above your wrist. Or take the half bind. Reach your hand behind your back. Hook your fingers inside your left thigh. And gently pull with the arm. Take a deep breath in. And out. Bring your right hand back down to the ground. Inhale your left hand up to the sky. And then exhale it down. Reach your left arm forward, thumb facing up. Reach your right leg back. Big toes point directly to the ground. So again, you want your thumb facing up. Your toes flex towards your face. Toes facing the earth. Keep your hips square to the earth. Inhale, maybe lift up a little higher. And then exhale, elbow to knee, crunch your knee and elbow together, arch the back up towards the sky, bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, reach out, reach long, reach up. And then exhale, elbow to knee, crunch. Three more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Last one. Inhale, reach. And exhale, crunch. Hands and, hand and knee down. Maybe shake that side out a little bit. Reach your right hand forward, thumb facing up. Reach your left leg back. Flex your toes towards your face. Point your big toe directly down to the ground. Parallel your hips to the ground. Inhale, thumb and heel up a little higher. And exhale, elbow to knee. Arch your back up towards the sky. Bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Exhale, elbow to knee. Three more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Last one. Inhale, reach. And exhale, crunch. Bring your hand and knee down to the ground. Take a deep breath in. And out. Walk your hands forward, one handprint. Tuck your toes underneath you. Hover your knees up just off the mat. One inch for five, four, three, two, one. One, downward facing dog, send your hips up and back. Just start to breathe here in through your nose and out through your mouth. Let's bend your left knee, straighten your right leg, let your right heel melt down towards the earth. Just feel a stretch in your right calf and hamstring. And then switch your legs. 
Bend your right knee, straighten your left leg. Feel a stretch in your left calf, maybe hamstrings. And switch. And switch. The balls of both feet stay on the ground. It's just a slow walking back and forth. Switch. And switch. And then send both heels down towards the earth. Stretch your fingers really wide. Bring some of your weight out of your wrist and into your thumb and forefinger. Let your heels melt down towards the earth. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Send your chest towards your thighs and then your thighs for the back wall. If you find you have a curve to your spine, bend your knees a bit to remove some stretch from your hamstrings to send your chest even deeper with a flat back. Take a deep breath in and out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk your feet behind your wrists. Keep your feet shoulder width distance for ragdoll pose. Have enough bend in your knees so your low belly can rest in your thighs. Let your head hang heavy. So option here for chest expansion. Let's grab your strap or belt or towel or whatever you're using. Bring your that behind your back. Just keep your hands about shoulder width distance this round. Send your fists, send your arms and your strap up over your head. Feel a stretch in the front of your shoulders, in, the, in your anterior deltoid area, the front of your front of your rotator cuff area. Take a deep breath in and out. Inhale, and exhale. Gently bring your hands back down, release your strap, set your strap back at, front, at the front of your mat. I always recommend having your, your equipment at the top of your mat, T typically your blocks on either side of your mat at the top, and your strap just sitting at top, unless specified otherwise. So from here, let your head remain heavy as you slowly roll up to a stand. Take a couple shoulder rolls one direction, and then the other. You know what? I need to adjust my camera. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There we go. All right, so with your feet shoulder or hip width distance, bring your hands to heart center and close your eyes. Exhale all of your air. Inhale through your nose, fill up. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Bring to the forefront of your mind whatever you might wish to dedicate today's practice to. Could be something for yourself, something for someone you love, a community. You could work with a philosophy. If you do not have your own intention to set today, I offer up the intention of just practicing some, some loving kindness. Loving kindness for yourself and for others, but primarily today for oneself. Listening to your body, trying to give your body exactly what it needs, taking this mental break from the rest of your day, showing yourself some self-care by doing some yoga, stretching the body, centering the mind, and just generally taking care of yourself. To help seal this intention, exhale all of your air. Inhale through your nose, fill up. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Slide your eyes open, release your hands down to your sides. Walk your feet together, big toes to touch, tiny sliver of space in between your heels. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your fingertips up towards the sky, relax your shoulders down your back. You want to engage your quads so they lift up off your kneecaps. Tuck your tailbone slightly, pull your navel in and down towards your spine. Draw your shoulder blades together and down your back. Inhale, lift the crown of your head high. Grab your left wrist and exhale side bend to the right. Keep your hips and shoulders square towards the front of the room. Draw your top arm back by your ear and turn your gaze up underneath your top arm. Inhale and exhale a little bit deeper. Inhale, rise back up. Switch your grip, grab your right wrist. Exhale, side bend to the left. Relax your shoulders away from your ears while you draw your arm back by your ear and turn your gaze up. Deep breath in and exhale side a little bit deeper. Inhale, rise back up, release your grip. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge your, at your hips, 
reach down towards the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, parallel your shins to the your excuse me, parallel your back to the ground. Bring your palms to your shins, potentially just underneath the knees. We want a nice flat back here. Again, if you have a curve to your spine, bend your knees a bit to find a flatter back. Draw your shoulder blades together and down your spine with your gaze down directly underneath your face, which should be about 6 to 12 inches in front of your mat. Inhale. Exhale, high plank and hold. Plant your palms, step back to a high plank. I'm just going to slowly lower down to the ground for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Once you reach the bottom, untuck your toes. Slide your hands back so your fingertips are at nipple level. Chin on the mat. Z draw your legs together. Exhale, all of your air. Inhale, baby cobra. Press your tops of your feet into the ground. Engage your legs, lift your knees up. Use your low back to lift your chest up. Little to no weight in your hands. Your gaze should be about six inches in front of your mat to protect your neck. Inhale, lift your chest up a little bit higher. And then exhale, lower down. Bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Inhale, high plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Everyone come down, down to your knees for a second, just to review. So that whole sequence where we got back to downward facing dog can be referred to as a vinyasa. Um, it's a connective sequence of postures to get back to down dog. There are a couple different ones you can choose from. You can always use that one. Uh, one of the most common is using a posture called Chaturanga Dandasana. It is a high to mid plank, and then flowing forward to upward facing dog, and then back to downward facing dog. Now Chaturanga you can either do normally, um, or you can do it on your knees. And I'll, I'll show both in just a second. You can, so you can do any of those three. You can, if you ever need a break, you can also just hold high plank for an inhale, an exhale, inhale again, and then exhale back to downward facing dog. So I'll show you the chaturangas real fast. So from the halfway lift, we come back to high plank. Shift forward onto your tiptoes, and you want your, your wrist directly underneath your shoulders when you come to high plank. That when you shift forward to your tiptoes and you lower halfway down, your ribs just come to your elbows. You want to keep your elbows tucked in nice and tight. Your sh shoulders and hips are at the same height from the ground. Then inhale, upper facing dog, tops your feet down, stack your shoulders over your wrists. You want to draw your shoulder blades together and down your back. Engage your legs to lift your knees up off the ground, but let your hips sink low. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now do note, you don't want to go from a high plank to an upper facing dog because that can crunch your low back over time. Going from low plank to up dog is a lot better on the body. Now, version of Chaturanga on, the, on your knees. You step back to high plank just like before, shift forward, and then drop the knees down. You can either have the toes touching or lifted. That's up to you. Lower halfway down. Bring your elbows to your ribs just like before. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift the knees up. And exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. So that is our variations of um, of Anyasa. <laughs> to get back to downward facing dog. If you know of any others that you use in your own practice, please feel free to use that as well. All right, everybody back to your down to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your feet together at the top of your mat. You can st take multiple steps. You can take one long step. You can top, you can jump, whatever you need. Inhale, halfway lift, parallel your spine to the ground, palms on your shins, avoid your knees. Palms are either on your shins or your thighs, not on the knees. We want to protect the knees. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, with your arms up to the sky. Grab your left wrist, exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, center, switch your grip, exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, center, release your grip, exhale, forward fold. Hands melt to heart center, hinge down toward the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, parallel your spine once more. Exhale, your version of a, chatur of a vinyasa. You can do chaturanga on or off your knees. You can do baby cobra, up to you. For those taking chaturanga, then come up to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time through. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain, sweep your arms up to the sky. Grab your left wrist, exhale side bend to the left. Inhale center, switch your grip, exhale side bend to the right. Inhale center, release your grip, and exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway lift, palms to shins, exhale chaturanga. 
If you choose to hop back, if that's something you already use in your practice, instead of landing in the high plank, try to land in Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Shine your heart forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out. Oops. All right, moving on to sun B. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your feet together at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, sink your hips back and down, float your biceps up by your ears. You want your weight in your heels and your knees far enough back so you can still clearly see your toes, perhaps see the, the middle of your feet as well. Tuck your tailbone slightly, pull your navel in and down, float your biceps up by your ears. We're going for a lightning bolt shape with the body. Now, do note that this is still chair pose as much as this is still chair pose. Find your depth with your body. Squeeze your thighs together. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, parallel your spine to the ground. And exhale, chaturanga, plant your palms, step back, hop back, whichever works for you. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your heart forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Leave your left heel low. Inhale, your right leg up and back. Down dog kick. Flex your right toes towards your face. Drop your right hip down so your hips are parallel to the ground. Engage your right glute. Lift your right heel up a little bit higher. And exhale, low lunge. Step your foot between your hands. So you want to leave your front leg where it is and your back foot where it is. So front knee up front ankle, back heel above the back ball mount of your back foot. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Reach your arms up to the sky. Now, if this is feeling super wobbly, you can walk your front foot out a step or two to the right to widen your stance. And if that's still too wobbly, you can drop the back knee down. So from the hips up, this is mountain pose. It's from the hips down that's different. Inhale. Exhale, open arm twist. Draw your right hand back, left hand forward. Turn towards the front leg. So you want to bring your arms to parallel to the ground, palms facing the right side of the room. Turn your gaze over your right shoulder and look past your right fingertips if that's comfortable in your neck. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, warrior two. We're going to spiral open to the left side of the room. Spiral the back heel down. So your back foot is parallel to the back of your mat. Front toes point directly forward. Stack your front knee up your front ankle. Drive your arms to the front and back space. Inhale. Exhale, extend the side angle. We're going to tilt your front arm down, reach your back arm up. You can either bring your forearm to your thigh or reach your arm in the inside of your front leg. Turn your gaze up over your top hand at the sky. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Here, we're going to inhale up to star pose. We're going to straighten your front leg, rotate the front foot in so it's 45 degrees out, and rotate the back foot out so it's 45 degrees out. So both feet are 45 degrees out from center. Reach the arms up. Spread everything else nice and wide, toes wide, fingers wide. Engage your glutes to send your hips forward, turn your gaze up high. And then exhale, hands to horse. I know I'm face facing the wrong direction. I'll turn for this demonstration here. So hands to heart center, bend your knees, sink your hips back and down, shoulders over your hips. So you're gonna bring your hands to your inner thighs. Straight, straight arms, inhale, puff up the chest. Exhale, twist your torso to the front of the room. Inhale, center, and exhale, twist your torso to the back of the room. You might feel some popping, and that's okay. Inhale, center, exhale, twist to the front. Inhale, center, and exhale, twist to the back. Hands back to heart center, shoulders over your hips. Sink your hips even deeper. From here, inhale, star pose. Showing the heart up towards the sky, turn your gaze up high, send your hips forward. And then exhale, warrior two to the front. Let me switch back to the sides. There we go. <laughs> From here, inhale, reverse warrior, float your front arm up and back. Slide your back hand down your back leg or take a half bind, wrap your arm around your low back. Feel a stretch in your right side and make sure your shoulders and hips are square to the left side of your mat to guarantee the side stretch. Inhale, tilt back a little bit further. Maintain your front lunge. Exhale, chaturanga, cartwheel down. Step your right foot back and lower halfway down. If you're taking chaturanga, you can also keep the right foot lifted as you lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your heart forward, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, and out. 
Leave your right heel down. Inhale your left leg up and back, down dog kick. Square your hips to the ground, flex your left toes towards your face. Engage your left glute, lift your left heel up a little higher, and then exhale low lunge, Step your foot between your hands. Once again, leave your legs where they are. Front knee over front ankle, back heel above your back ball mount. Inhale, high crescent lunge, stack your shoulders over your hips, reach your arms up to the sky. You should feel a good stretch in the front hip flexor, or the, uh, the right hip flexor. Maybe tuck the tailbone a little bit more to accentuate the stretch. Inhale, reach the fingertips high while you relax your shoulders down. Exhale, open arm twist, draw your left hand back, right hand forward, parallel your arm to the ground, turn your gaze over your left shoulder, look at the wall behind you, if that's comfortable in your neck. Inhale, lengthen your spine tall. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, warrior two, spiral open to the right side of the room, spiral the back heel down, front knee over your front ankle. Tuck the tailbone slightly, engage your core, navel in and down. Drive your arms to the front and back space. Inhale. Exhale, exhale, side to side angle, tilt forward and down. Option to press your bottom arm into the ground, into your thigh to increase the twist of your heart up towards the sky. You always do have the option to bring your forearm to your thigh as well. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, star pose, straighten both legs. Toes out, heels in. Arms up, fingers wide, gaze up. And exhale, horse. Hands to heart center. So this time, we're gonna keep the, the hips low. Inhale, your, sweep your arms down, out, and up. And then exhale, hands to our center, sink your hips a little bit deeper. Goddess arms, inhale up. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, straighten the legs, reach the gaze up, arms up. Exhale, warrior to the front. Rebend your front knee. Turn your back toes back to parallel to the ground. Point your front toes forward. Inhale, reverse warrior. Float your front arm up and back. So again, s option to slide your back hand down your back leg or take the half bind. Wrap around your low back. Inhale, gaze up high over your left shoulder at the sky. And then exhale, cartwheel down. Step back. Option to keep the left foot lifted, lower halfway down. Ribs to elbows. Inhale, upper facing dog. Shine your heart forward. And exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in and out. And always, always, always in my classes, if you ever need to take a break, you can either just come down to a seat or just come back to child's pose for a few moments to reground yourself. All right, that was our sun B. We're flowing through it two more times. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to your feet together at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, parallel your spine to the ground. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, sink hips back and down, float your biceps up by your ears, mindful of the balance. <laughs> Weight is in your heels. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair, parallel your back to the ground. Exhale, chaturanga, punch your palms, step back, hop back, whichever you choose, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your heart forward. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, down dog, kick right, lift your right leg up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot between your hands. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Float your arms up over your hips. Exhale, open arm twist right. Turn your torso towards the right side of the room. Feel free to scoot your right leg out to the right a little bit to help with your balance. Inhale, warrior two, spiral open to the left side of the room. Exhale, extend side angle. Tilt your torso forward, turn your gaze up high. Keep your gaze lifted. Inhale, star pose. Toes out, heels in. And exhale, horse. Hands to heart center, sink hips back and down. Inhale, star, shine your heart up towards the sky. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Inhale, reverse warrior. Float your front arm up and back to touch the wall behind you with your fingertips. Exhale, chaturanga, cartwheel down. Step back and flow. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg up and back, down dog kick. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot between your hands. Inhale, high crescent, float your fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, open arm, twist your left. Twist your torso left, turn your gaze back behind you. Inhale, warrior two, gaze forward, shoulders over hips, reach for the front and back space. Exhale, extend side angle, tilt forward and down, turn your gaze up high. Keep the gaze lifted. Inhale, star pose, toes out, heels in, hips forward. Exhale, horse, hands to heart center, sink your hips back and down. Inhale, star. 
Axel Warrior 2. Inhale Reverse Warrior. And exhale Chaturanga. One sec. There we go. Cartwheel down. Step back and flow. Inhale upward facing. Exhale downward facing dog. One more time through. We'll skip the chair this time. Inhale right leg up and back. Exhale low lunge. Step your foot between your hands. Inhale crescent lunge. Shoulders over hips. Fingers high. Exhale open arm twist right. Inhale warrior two to the left. Exhale, extend a side angle, tilt forward and down. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, star. Straighten both legs, toes out, heels in. Exhale, horse. Knees and toes go the same directions. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Float your front arm up and back. Exhale, chaturanga, cartwheel down. Step back and floor halfway down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last side. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, open arm twist. Twist towards the left. Take your gaze back over your left sh fingertips. Inhale, warrior two. Spiral open to the right side of the room. Exhale, extend side angle. Tilt forward and down. Turn your gaze up high. Inhale, star. Toes out, heels in. Radiate your heart up. Exhale, horse. Oops. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior to the front. Rebend your front leg over your front knee. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga. Cartwheel down. Step back and flow. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out. Gently set the knees down. Feel free to towel off, get a sip of water. All right. Whew. All right, let's come back to down dog. Take a deep breath in and out. One more inhale and exhale. Inhale, down dog, kick right, lift your right leg up and back. Exhale, low lunge, jump your foot between your hands. So we're gonna step the back foot forward about a foot. Grab your blocks if you wish to place on either side of your front foot. We're gonna work with what's called a rolling pyramid. So we're gonna glue your chest to your front thigh. Try to keep it there as much as you can. Inhale with the knee bent over your ankle. And then exhale, start to come back to pyramid pose. Straighten your leg, maybe bring your heel down towards the earth. Bring your forehead closer to your shin. Try to keep your chest as close to your thigh as you can. It doesn't matter if you can straighten the leg entirely. Just go into the point where you feel a really good stretch in the lateral hamstring. The hamstring further away from the center of the body. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Now, inhale, rebend the knee. Exhale, extend. Three more rounds. Inhale, rebend. Exhale, extend. Make sure to keep your hips square to the front of the room. So draw your right hip back, left hip forward. Inhale, rebend. Last two. Extend. Exhale. And last one, rebend, and exhale, extend. Inhale, rebend, step your back foot fat back about a foot, set your blocks aside, gently set the back knee down. Stack your front knee, oh, excuse me, stack your shoulders over your hips, hands on your thigh, pull your right hip back, left hip forward, tuck the tailbone, engage your left glute, top your back foot down. Now, if this is too much on your back knee, you can always take, uh, you can always press down with your shin to release some pressure from your knee. You can also fold up your mat in from the side to add a double layer under the back knee, or take your hand towel, your folded up hand towel, place it underneath your back knee, just for more padding, that's all. Do what you need to honor your body. So again, tuck the tailbone, engage the left glute, inhale, 
Exhale, send your hips forward and down. The more of a slight back bend you take, the more of a stretch you'll feel in the front le of your left hip, your hip flexor. Inhale, rise back and up. Exhale, send your hips forward and down. Keep the tailbone tucked and the left glute engaged. Three more rounds. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Inhale, rise. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale, rise back up. Grab your blocks. Set your blocks on either side of your leg around the level of your knee. Extend your right leg forward. Flex your toes towards your face. Pull your right hip back, left to forward to square your hips to the front of the mat and towards your foot. You can adjust the blocks however you need. Bring your fingertips to the blocks to start potentially. Inhale. And exhale, half split, hinge forward towards your front leg. It doesn't matter if you only hinge about an inch or you bring your chest all the way to the thigh. I'm not there yet. As you fold, you can bring your palms down to the block and walk your blocks forward. You can change the height of your blocks, whatever you need to make this posture as accessible to you, your body, and your flexibility. As you inhale, lengthen your heart towards your toes. As you exhale, hinge a little bit deeper. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. One more, inhale, and exhale. Start to rebend your front leg, set your blocks to the sides. You'll be, need them again and just uh, for the other side. Arms up over your shoulders. You can keep the back knee down or you can tuck the back toes and lift the back knee up for high crescent lunge. Either way, take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, tilt your torso forward about 45 degrees. And then twist to towards your front leg. Hook your left elbow on the outside of your right thigh. As you inhale, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Try to bring your heart closer to your thumbs by pressing your top hand into the bottom hand and your elbow into your thigh. If you're feeling too wobbly in the high crescent lunge, you can gently set the back knee back down. Take a deep breath in, length lengthen your spine. As you exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Perhaps look over your right shoulder to gaze at the sky. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist. Inhale, look down. Exhale, runner's lunge. Punch your palms in the inside of your right foot. Gently set the back knee down. Untuck the back toes. You can walk your right foot out to the right edge of your mat and forwards your ankles in front of your knee. I tend to walk my back leg back a bit so my hips are further down towards the ground. If you have the option to stay on your palms, you also have the option to come down to your forearms, be it forearms to a block or forearms to the ground. Find your depth. Remember, we're only going to the point of stretch, not to the point of pain. Slow, deep breaths, let your head hang heavy. One more deep breath in and out. Start to come back up to your palms. Option stay here. Option for a quad stretch to bring your weight to your left hand, to reach your right hand behind you, bend your left knee, capture your left foot, and pull your heel towards your glute. Going for a quad stretch in the left leg. The more your hip is an extension, the more you're stretching all four of your quad muscles rather than just um, only a few of them. Take a deep breath in and out. One more inhale and exhale. Release your left leg. Bring your right hand back down the ground. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Step back to high plank. We're going to shift your weight to your left hand and your, tilt your heels to the left. Side plank. Inhale, right, lift your right hand high. You can drop the left knee down. If you do so, I recommend kickstanding your foot behind you. Stack your hips, stack your shoulders. 
You can have one foot in front of the other. You can stack your top foot on top of the other foot. You can even lift your top leg up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. Rainbow your hips up a little bit higher. And exhale, right palm down. Optional chaturanga, or just shift back to downward facing dog. Up to you. Take a deep breath in. And out. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale your left leg up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot between your hands. Grab your blocks. Place them on either side of your front leg. Walk your back foot forward about a foot. Inhale, bend your knee over your ankle. Glue your chest to your thigh. And then exhale, we're going into that rolling pyramid again. Straighten the front leg. Pull your left hip back, right hip forward to square your hips to the front of the room. Feel a stretch in your lateral hamstring. Maybe your back heel might reach the ground. Inhale, rebend your knee. Exhale, extend. Three more. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Keep your chest close to your thigh. One more. Inhale, bend. And exhale, extend. Inhale, rebend. Set your blocks aside. Gently set, uh, walk your back knee back again, and then gently set your back knee down. Float your shoulders over your hips. Bring your hands to your front thigh. Pull your left hip back, right hip forward. Tuck the tailbone. Engage the right glute. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, send your hips forward and down. Again, the more of a back bend you take, the more of the stretch you'll feel in your right hip flexor. Inhale, rise up and back. Keep your right glute engaged. Exhale, send your hips forward and down. And remember, you can always add more padding underneath the back knee. Inhale, up and back. Exhale forward and down. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. And exhale down. Rise back up. Grab your blocks once more. Place them on either side of your front leg, or potentially around the knee. Extend the left leg long. So you can start on your fingertips or whatever height you need. Pull your left hip back, right, right hip forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine long, and exhale, hinge forward for half split. Adjust your hands on the blocks, or the height of your blocks, or position your blocks as much as you need. Inhale, lengthen your heart towards your toes. Exhale, hinge a little bit deeper. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, hinge. One more. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, hinge. Start to rebend your front leg. Set your blocks aside, but nearby. Tuck your back toes up first, feeling crescent. Feel free to stay with your back knee down or lift the back knee up for high crescent. Take a deep breath in and out. Inhale, exhale, hands heart center. Inhale, tilt your torso forward. Exhale, revolve crescent lunge, twist your torso towards your front leg. Option to keep the back knee up or set it back down. As you inhale, lengthen your spine long. As you exhale, twist towards your, the left a little bit more. Bring your heart closer to your thumbs by pressing your top hand to the bottom hand and elbow into your thigh. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Maybe gaze over your left shoulder. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist. Inhale, look down. Exhale, plant your palms on the inside of your left foot. Gently set your back knee down. Untuck the back toes. Walk your left foot out to the left edge of your mat and forwards to your ankles in front of your knee. Option to stay on your palms. Option to also come down to your forearms, be it forearms to ground or forearms to block. Let your head hang heavy. Option to nod your head yes. To shake your head no. Open and close your mouth, release your jaw. Just try to let everything go. Take another deep breath in and out. Feel free to stay on your, on your forearms or palms. For those wishing to take the quad stretch on this side, shift your weight to your right palm. Inhale your left hand up and back. Bend your right knee. 
Capture your right foot into your hand and pull your heel towards your glute. The more your hip is an extension, the more you're stretching your rectus femoris, the two joint quad muscle. The other three quad muscles are all one joint. And so for those, your hip doesn't need to be an extension, but for the rectus femoris, it does. Inhale, exhale, pull your heel slightly closer. Gently release your back leg. Bring your left hand back down the ground. Everyone back up to your palms if you're down on your forearms. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knees, step your left foot back, high plank. Shift your weight to your right palm, tilt your heels to the right, inhale, side plank. Again, option to drop the bottom knee down and kickstand the foot behind you. Option to keep your one foot in front of the other, stack your feet, or lift your top leg. Stack your hips, stack your shoulders. Inhale, rainbow your hips up a little bit higher. And then exhale, plant your left palm. Optional, chaturanga. Or just shift back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And out. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, your right leg up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Grab your strap. Walk your back foot forward, about a foot or two. Bring your back heel down. Rotate your back foot out about 45 degrees. Inhale, warrior one. So just keep your strap in one hand. Pull your right hip back, left hip forward. To square your hips to the front of the room. Inhale, arms up high. Now, warrior one, at least for me, is more challenging, a lot more challenging than warrior two. Because you want to keep your hips tucked as you sink your front knee forward. You can lengthen your stance if you can brought your back foot forward a little too far. From here, inhale, and then exhale. Bring your hands together behind your back. And if you can't make this fist-to-fist -fist connection, you can grab your strap and walk your hands as close together on the strap as is comfortable. And if you don't need the strap, you can also toss the strap to the side. Keep your microband in your elbow. Inhale, puff up the chest. Exhale, humble warrior. We're gonna tilt your torso forward, bring your fists up over your head. Get the stretch in the front of your shoulders once again. Just bring your chest down towards your thigh. Float your fists up over your head towards the sky. Take a deep breath in and out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, rise back up. Warrior one, release the arms. And then exhale, warrior two. Widen your stance, rotate your chest towards the left side of the room. From here, we're gonna straighten the front leg. So in warrior two, your hips are parallel to the ground. For triangle pose, we wanna bump your hips to the back of the room. So your front hip will dip down, and the back hip will dip up, pop up. But you still wanna keep them pretty stacked on top of each other as you tilt forward and reach your torso forward towards the front of the room. Try to keep your spine nice and long, core nice and engaged, reach until you can't reach any further, then freeze, drop your front arm down, lift your back arm up, triangle pose. You can grab a block to rest your fingers on. You can rest your hand on your shin or thigh. You can also reach on the inside of your front leg, press your th hand against your thigh or shin to twist your heart towards the sky a little bit deeper. Take a deep breath in and else out, twist a little deeper. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, rise back up to a stand. Rotate the front foot in to parallel your feet with one another. Inhale, puff up the chest, and then exhale, wide leg forward fold. Grab accessible calves, ankles, feet. Use your biceps to gently pull yourself a little deeper. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hinge slightly more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, on your fingertips, inhale, halfway lift, in your wide legged forward fold, and then just walk your hands forward to the top of your mat, reframe your front foot in the low lunge, step back to high plank, and then just shift back to down dog. Take a deep breath in, and out. Inhale your left leg up and back, exhale, low lunge. Walk your back foot forward about a foot, bring your back heel down, rotate the back foot out 35 to 45 degrees from center. Inhale, warrior one. Again, option to bring your strap with you. Shoulders over hips, reach your fingers high. So from the hips up, just like in crescent lunge, this is mountain pose. 
but we want to keep the hips squared forward, front knee over front ankle, back heel down. You can adjust your st stance longer if you need. Inhale, arms up high. Exhale, bring your hands together behind your back. If you just interlaced your hands on the other side, take the opposite interlace, the one that feels slightly different, slightly odd. If you are using the strap, just walk your hands closer together on the strap. Inhale, puff up the chest. Exhale, humble warrior. Hinge forward, bring your fists up over the head. Bring your chest to your thigh. Inhale, keep your hips square to the front of the room. Exhale, send your hips, your fists a little higher. Take a deep breath in. And out. Keep a microband in your elbows to prevent hyperextension. Release the arms. Inhale, warrior one. Float your fingertips up towards the sky as I almost lose my balance. And then exhale, warrior two. Re reopen your hips to the right side of the room. Maybe widen your stance a fair bit. Parallel your back foot to the back of the mat. Point your front toes forward. Straighten the front leg. Bump your hips to the back of the room. Reach your arms as far forward as you can. Reach, 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 reach. Until you can't reach any further. And then exhale, triangle pose. Tick tock your arms to six and twelve. Again, you can have the option to press your top, your bottom hand rather, into your, th your leg to twist your heart up higher towards the sky. You can gaze over your right shoulder to look up, up at the sky. Inhale and exhale. Feel the stretch in your medial hamstring. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, rise back up. Rotate the front foot in. Option to rotate your feet in more. If you pigeon toe the toes in, <coughs> excuse me, if, you're f if your toes are further in than your heels, you will isolate the outer part of your calves giving a stronger stretch to the outer part of your calf, the lateral ca part of your calf. Option to just grab a successful, option to also take a chest expansion here. Inhale, puff up the chest, and then exhale, wide-legged forward fold, and perhaps send your fists up overhead, or grab a successful on the legs, calves, ankles, feet, use your biceps to pull yourself slightly deeper. And you can always use a strap for this if you need it. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Release your grip. Bring your hands back underneath your, your shoulders. On your fingertips, tent your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, parallel your spine to the ground. And then exhale, wide, uh, low lunge to the front. Walk your hands to the front of the mat. Step your left foot back to high plank. Inhale. And then just exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. Take a deep breath in. And out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, come down to your knees, have a seat. We've done a fair bit of forward folding. So instead of doing that right here, we're going to do some inner thigh stretch. So come to Baddha Konasana, bound angle, or butterfly pose. Bring the soles of your feet together. The more you have your heels closer to your groin, the more of a stretch it will be in your inner thigh. Now if you were to also have your feet further away, creating a diamond shape with the body, this stretches the low back. But for right now, we're going for inner thigh. And your knees might be up here, and that's okay. Just let them fall to where they are comfortable. And if you really want to, you can also take your blocks to place underneath your knees or your thighs. Make yourself comfortable. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And exhale, hinge forward. You can either walk your hands forward on your mat, or you can just cup your, your hands around your feet and use your biceps to pull yourself slightly deeper. There's no need to press down with your elbows on your thighs. Just hinge forward. Take a deep breath in and out. One more inhale and exhale. Inhale slowly, come back up. Extend your legs out long and then exhale, come on down to your back. Bend your knees, bring your heels close to your glutes, feet and knees hip width distance. You should be able to lightly graze your heels with your fingertips. Keep your feet and knees hip width distance. Exhale all your air. Find your robot arms. Bend your elbows, point your fingertips directly up towards the sky, palms face one another. Inhale, bridge pose, lift your hips up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, press your tricep and elbow into the earth to send your chest closer to your chin. Make sure to draw your chin away from your chest to keep the airway open in the, in the throat. Inhale, hips up a little higher. Exhale, press down a little bit more. Inhale, hips. Exhale, press. Inhale, lift your heels up. Keep the heels lifted, relax the arms down, slowly bring the back down one vertebra at a time. The lifted heel guarantees your pelvis comes down last when it comes to the torso. 
when your pelvis does come down, let the heels come down as well. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Grab your left hamstring with both hands. Your right hand will reach between the legs. Left on the outside, grab your left hamstring, the back of your thigh, and pull your left knee towards your chest. The only things really engaged here are your biceps to pull your knee closer and drawing your right toes towards your right knee to help protect your knee. Everything else, just relax. Relax your head down, maybe close your eyes, relax your left leg, relax your back. If you can get your knee close enough, you can also wrap your, interlace your hands onto your shin. Feel the stretch on the outside of your right hip. Just a few more deep breaths here. Take another deep breath in and out. Gently release your left leg. Switch your legs, bring your right foot down, cross your left ankle over your right thigh, reach between your left leg and on the, uh, between your legs and on the outside, grab your right hamstring or shin and pull your knee towards your chest. If you are interlacing your hands on your shin, take the opposite interlace, the one that feels slightly different. Find this balance in your body. Relax everything except for drawing your foot, your left toes towards your left knee and your biceps to pull your knee slightly closer. Slow, deep breaths in and out. This side might feel a little tighter or a little looser than the other, and that's perfectly normal. Just a couple more deep breaths. Inhale. And actually release your right foot and then your left foot back down to the ground. Hover your knees up over your hips. Parallel your shins to the ground. Bring your arms out to a T on the ground. Inhale. Exhale, send both your he knees to the left. You can also scoot your hips a little further to the right to increase the stretch. You can also take your left leg and extend it. Reach your left toes towards the front of the room. Your right knee remains bent and reaching to the left. Whatever variation you're in, if it's comfortable in the neck, option to turn your head to the right to complete the twist in your neck, in your cervical spine. Couple more breaths. One more inhale. And exhale. Draw your, your knees back up over your hips. Bring your hips back to center. So you do have the option to pre-shift your hips to the left as you before you send your hip your knees to the right. And once again, option to stretch your bottom leg, in this case your right leg, towards the top of the mat while leaving your top leg, your left leg, bent. And then you face going to the right. If it's comfortable in your neck, turn your gaze to the left. Two more breaths. Inhale your knee back up over your hips. Curl up into the smallest ball you can. Wrap your forearms around your shins. Forehead up towards your knees. Inhale, squeeze everything nice and tight. And then exhale, release Shavasana. Let your legs come down, feet spy wide. Arms can either relax at your sides with your palms up or palms down, that's up to you. a few moments here.
nothing to do, nowhere to go, only to be here and now. Feel free to stay here as long as you wish. If you do need to move on, start to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, roll out your ankles, roll out your wrists, draw your right ear to mat, and then your left. Inhale your arms up over your head. Take a nice full body stretch. Reach your fingers to the wall behind you, toes to the wall in front of you. And then float your knees up over your hips and roll onto your right side for fetal position. Use your bottom bicep like a pillow. Try to keep your eyes closed. Press yourself up to a seat to face the front of the room. Find a nice, comfortable cross-legged seat. Draw your hands together in front of your heart. Exhale all of your air. Inhale through your nose, fill up. And exhale, let it go. For this next part, go ahead and open your eyes for a second. So we're going to take two ASL I love you symbols where you just from up open hand bend your middle and ring finger down. Face your hands together and then interlace your hands so your fingers wrap around each other. Middle and ring fingers uh, folding over each other. Index, pinky and thumb all ex staying extended. So basically like a double I love you together. So bring your thumbs against your sternum. Close your eyes once more. This is a little hand, uh, hand position, a mudra that I use in loving kindness meditations. And one loving kindness mantra that I definitely use for myself and I recommend potentially using for yourself is may I be happy, may I be safe, may I be healthy, may I be at peace. And this can be directed not only at yourself but at someone that you know, whether it's someone you love or someone you struggle with. May you be happy. May you be safe. May you be healthy. May you be at peace. And then it could also be used for everyone, including yourself. May we be happy. May we be safe. May we be healthy. May we be at peace. Inhale your thumbs up to the point between your eyebrows, connecting your heart to your mind. Inhale, sit back and tall. And honor the practice and to each other, bow forward. Namaste. All right. I hope you enjoyed today's class. If you have any questions, comments, things that you liked, things that you didn't, please feel free to either post a comment on the video or reach out to me directly. Um, as usual, this is a donation-based class. Suggest a donation of $10. Um, I will be posting my Venmo information shortly below in a comment. Uh, if you do not use Venmo and you use something else, reach out to me. We can figure something else out. And also, if you don't have the money to give, I totally understand. Trust me, it's fine. Um, I am also doing private yoga lessons, so if you are new and wanting to really understand more of the basic postures, or if you're more practiced and you wanted to, to strengthen your practice to learn more postures, learn more difficult postures, reach out to me directly, and we can talk about doing a private yoga lesson where we take an an hour session and we put together a yoga flow based on you, your bodies, your capabilities. And that is 30 for the hour. Um, anyway, I am doing this again on Wednesday and Friday this week, noon Central Standard Time. Uh, and I will be posting this video to the uh, to the event. So feel free to share the video with others. Feel free to revisit it, do this flow again later. Anyway, stay healthy, stay hydrated, stay safe. Namaste. <laughs>